here in the next chart will be on the skin. Let's try to sit here so we can have a camera in the middle of it. <coughs> so here we have the skin and the relevant study, uh, dermatology. This is just two guys over here. And this is a a transverse section going down to the skin from the surface. And what we have here will be the subcutaneous gland. The hair follicles on the surface of the skin here. Uh, the sensory nerves, the epidermis, the nerve, the dermis, which is only the epidermis, the arteriole and the subcutaneous tissue, the sweat, the muscles, and the capillaries. And here we have the fat collagen. <coughs> okay, a second diagram of the skin with the, uh, the dermis, the hypodermis, hypo meaning below, and the subcutaneous layer. Once again, we have here the sweat pores. Nerves, sweat gland, and the vein, the adipose tissue, and some artery here going through the this layer of the skin and the ear bulb. The ear comes through and then you have the ear bulb here. So <coughs> this is in no particular order, random sort of order, various organs of the body. And if we turn it around here, we have another set of jaw here which is uh, of the skin and so malignancy of the skin, uh, abnormalities, we have basal cell and basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell, squamous cell carcinoma, and they said here the squamous cell starts in flat cells in the outer part of the epidermis. This is commonly crops up from a sun exposed areas of the skin. Sun exposed area means like my head, my hair, my face. That is usually the same sun exposed. The rest of the body is usually covered in clothing. So that ear will be sun exposed. So that's where the squamous cell uh, is mostly from. Eyes, lips, and neck, these are also exposed. So squamous cell carcinoma may develop as percutaneous skin cell spots, known as from actinic keratosis. So here we have the four basics. One, we have the basal cell carcinoma, the squamous cell carcinoma, the melanoma, and the Merkel cell. <coughs> Capsus or coma uh, is uh, from the herpes virus, is also another uh, skin relative malignancy. And this one is associated with the AIDS virus. Okay, so we also have now, we are looking at some other malignancy here in. <coughs> Psoriasis of the skin. So we have plaque psoriasis, which is the most common type of psoriasis associated with the skin. And we have here gutte psoriasis, most often found in younger people. A steel drop shaped red spots in the tarsars and limbs. Also, we have the inverse psoriasis, which develop in skin folds such as groin and armpits, a smooth shiny red guy. And we have the postular psoriasis, which appears as red, palm, and so on. So this is only in dermatology.